Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Figaro because we're going to need to use Figaro in order to configure our application to use AWS S3. So we're going to use AWS S3 to upload images such as avatar images for our users. And what Figaro does, well, there's a little description here. It's simply a Heroku-friendly Rails app configuration using environment and single YAML file. So really, it makes it easier to configure your Rails applications. And that does sound kind of up in the air, so I'm just going to show you an example right now of how you will actually do that. So let's just switch over to Sublime first, and you can see that we have our gem Figaro. That's what you need to do. You you plug in that gem Figaro and you would run bundle install to install that gem. And the next place you will go is actually you would go to config and you would actually create a new file. And in this file, we're going to save this as application.yaml. And what you're going to do is you're going to set up your environment. So YAML is a really kind of funny way of typing out syntax. And really, spacing does matter a lot here if you've never used it before. I haven't used it that much, but I often use it for, for configurations or error messages. So let's see. So we have our development, our tests, and our production environment. And in each of these... In each of these environments, we're going to have different different configurations. So, for example, we're going to have, for this example, an AWS access key ID. And you're going to just paste your ID here. So, paste your, 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 your key ID here. And you're going to have an AWS secret access key and again you're just gonna paste paste your secret access key here so this would be your access key so we're gonna do that for both test and remember to space it correctly or else it won't it won't work out very well and we're gonna do that for production so why do we do this? Well, to tell you the truth, when we're developing, we might have different access keys for development, for tests, and for production. And you really don't want to remember all those access keys. So putting them all in one file and using Figaro to remember all those access keys would save you a ton of time and a ton of memory in your, in your brain to remember where you will need to find the access key. And all these access keys can be hard coded in one place, but remember that this kind of file shouldn't really be uploaded to a repository because that can potentially be a big security flaw. So in this situation, it's only really useful for when you're developing or testing. Your production, your configurations would literally be on your production server. Um, you could use it there if, if you're if you're if you're comfortable with the, uh, with security and and all that sorts of stuff. But really, Figaro is just a really nice gem for us to configure our Rails environments. So that's all I really wanted to show you guys for today. It's going to be a really short video. I hope you learned how Figaro works. And what I want you to do for homework is actually go and access or go and sign up for a AWS account and grab your access and secret keys and paste it in here because we're going to use that in order to upload images in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, then leave them in the comment box and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.